guys, what's up? Welcome back to another funky Food Friday here at Big John TV. What are we all about? Food family, family fun. Family That's family. how we roll. Thanks for tuning in. A little bit of disclaimer behind the scenes. It's hot today. It is it really is hot. hot. It's like 80 hot degrees. Uh, I think it officially hit 90 degrees Fahrenheit today here in our area of California. Not ready for the heat. Probably the hottest day we've had yet this year. So we're all a little bit like... I need to find somebody with a pool. For reals. <laughs> Uh, so we found some new foods that have been on the market for only a couple weeks, maybe a month, that have been extremely hard to find. But I'm super excited that we finally found them. Well done, Mama. Finding them at Walmart. Yep. Um, at least one of these is a Walmart exclusive and limited edition. The other two, I'm not entirely sure about. Now, it's a brand of ice cream I've never had. I've never really seen. Never. It sounds amazing. Right, just the company itself. Yeah, I like. I had to go onto their website and do a bunch of research and yeah. stuff. But it sounds good. But, of course, that would just be normal and boring to just be trying ice cream. Right. And being that this is called a Funky Food Friday video, you know there's about to be some funky ice creams going on. I only know one of them for sure. Maybe the second. I have no idea what the third one was. So I'm kind of excited as well. So the brand is Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen? It's a fancy name looking, fancy yeah. looking name. They, it was funny on their website. They give you two different ways to pronounce it, either the American way or like the German way. And I'm going with more the American way here. There you go. Um, they are a French ice cream, which means they have more eggs than normal. Oh. So in theory, it should be more like custardy, yeah. creamy. creamy. Even scooping it out, it looks super creamy. Nice. Well, let's all enjoy some ice cream on this nice warm spring day shall we sure um <laughs> let's see i think go with this one this one first all right it looks like some type of peanut butter have a spoon have a everybody what the heck i gave you tiny spoons let's all let's all scoop in let's all wait and not shove it up our nose holes and then we'll all bite at the same time there's nothing spicy there's no dead fish. There's no guts and eyeballs. There could be. It's, I don't remember what it is, but it's just a regular kind of flavor. All right, cheers. Here we go. Hmm. What's? Butter. Super salty. I don't like that. The ice cream itself actually is really smooth. It is. And I know all the flavors, and that is not what I expected this to taste like. I'm confused by it. There's like a doughy bit in there. Yes, it's like a, like a piece of bread. It tastes like popcorn or like butter. No. I think that's the ice cream part. You know what it tastes like? What? Guess. Nasty I can't guess because I know what it tastes like. Milk. That's. Milk. Does it taste kind of cheesy to you? Cheesy, milky. Yeah, well, you try to say it tastes like sour milk. Well, if she's going to say cheesiness, or what'd you say? Cheesy, buttery. Butter, that's what you said, butteriness. That could be. Hey, let I, me see it again. I wanted to try and get some of the color here. I was going to say, I don't know if I have an official guess. I was going to say peanut butter and jelly, but with the saltiness. I don't think so. But I'm not getting much, like a peanut flavor, so I don't think that's <laughs> it. Do you guys want to know now or after yes, we try all three? Me. Let's let's wait. No. Hey. What? It's fail. We got two picks. You got one. All right. They voted. Don't look. Don't look at them all. Don't look. stop. Stop. Runner. This is the only one I saw. This is the flavor. This is Van Leeuwen pizza flavored French ice cream. What That's the gross. heck? That's yep. Like the pizza cotton candy? It says, nothing makes us happier than this pizza ice cream. Who said you can't have the best of both worlds? Not us. So put aside any notion that you can't have your pizza and ice cream together in one crazy but crazy delicious flavor. Truthfully, the one thing missing in this is the salad course. But we'll <laughs> save that for another day. Uh, you know what? So that goes, there goes the bready part. That I was right? Thinking about, like that. And then the red would be like the pizza sauce. But this is a nice... Flavor, even for being pizza, it's not overbearing in like the herbiness or the yes. tomatoiness or the, yes. the breadiness. It's I, still like a dessert flavor. I don't like it. Like Me I don't hate it. Either. I don't hate it. The saltiness is a bit much. I don't like it. 
And then you chew and it's like... You know. I think it's clever and I think it actually tastes good. That chewy bit, a little bit of herbiness. Is there? Okay. A little bit of herbiness in I that. I must have not gotten a big enough piece. There's all sorts of things going on in there. It really is. I, you know, for such a weird, funky sounding flavor. Right. I thought this good. was going to be hideous, honestly. It I is. thought it was going to be bad. Let's do the one. The We're going to do one. the orange one, yes. I'm going to give that a thumbs up, by the way. I would totally eat this again. I don't have a problem and with this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, move on to the orange one. Orange this one? This is probably an orange flavored. Oh, carrot flavored. Ooh, carrot right. would be an interesting one. Dang. It's such a creamy ice cream. I don't want anybody to accuse me of not actually taking a big enough of a sample. Hey, Dad, that's pretty much me. All right, ready, set, three, yeah. three, two, one. Well, that's real salty. Mm, I don't like it. Ooh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is, oh my gosh. Now, is that the, the big one? Is that, that the, is. the main one? Okay. This is the one I knew going in. Um, but, it, I mean, there could have been a twist at the end. The creaminess is amazing. I don't like it. The the richness in there, the funkiness in there with the, the cheese. There's a cheese There's flavor. There's definitely okay. a cheese flavor. Let's just get to it. Let's just say what you got, it is. You want to know what this one is? Cheese. No, this is macaroni and cheese. Not just any. This is Kraft macaroni and cheese. This is the limited edition, and this is only available at Walmart. I I wonder if you could use that as like a substitute instead of like the, the cheese, cheese packet. Packets. It still has the sweetness to it. Whose spoon is that? But it's got the, the like very strong cheese flavor. It tastes like mac craft macaroni. It it, I wanted to read the sign. You playing with the frost. Hey, the last guess I did was really close. Mm -hmm. I said cheddar cheese. It, it comes in sweet and salty, and then it drops down into like a funky cheese flavor almost. Like a little bit of a funk. Mm -hmm. And then it smooths back out with a little sweetness and salty at the end. This came out of 2008. Yep. So I'm taste to me, it's like it comes in a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. And then it drops down and it's almost like a funky age kind of a cheddar. And then it bounces back out again. Hmm. So it's like, to me, it tastes like straight up actual real craft. Specifically well, craft. Then let me read this because it says... If this reminds you of the ice cream you grew up with, you might be out of your mind. If this reminds you of the comforting bowl of Kraft macaroni and cheese you grew up with, you're getting warmer. Because did we make this ice cream with that buttery, sweet, iconic cheese? You bet. So they use actual Kraft macaroni and cheese powder in here. I, I don't hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> I, again, I don't hate this. Here, you can check that out now. I'm going to give it a thumbs up because I can taste the Kraft macaroni and cheese. Not necessarily something that I would go and eat again, yep. but I'm glad I've tried it. You eat it, you know, you may not be able to specifically, especially you don't if you haven't had crap burger and cheese. Right. But you're going to know it's cheese. It's cheese for right sure. Away. So to me, the fact that it automatically makes me cheesy, cool. You're the already fact that, cheesy. The, fa <laughs> the fact that I can then compare it. To what's already in my head of a nostalgic taste yep. of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that one's crazy. I think Boom. it's interesting. Fantastic. Mm. All right, uh -uh. push that one up ahead. You owe me regular ice cream after this. <laughs> All right, this last one I think might make up for some of it. All right, last one. Do you need one. a napkin? Hold on one second. Jimmy's got to clean off his spoon. All right. All right, all cleaned up, ready to go. Bro, why you take such big scoops? Because I told you. I want a big scoop too. Pass it over here, man. No, no, I don't want your spoon, Goofball. <laughs> oh, it's dripping. Here we go. Yeah, it melts quick, I think, because it's so rich. Ooh. Ooh. I don't Heck like yeah. this one. I don't like any of them. You, you know This why? one's fantastic. Because you're a vanilla ice cream eater. Mm hmm. I like chocolate oh, too. It's not as bad, but. And Shobo. That's a good one. Nah. This one is fantastic. Oh, okay, so I get the toffee bits, the caramel bits, or the, the toffee crunchy bits mm -hmm. in there. Is there a spice to this one? Is there? There is. There definitely is. I actually, I have no idea what the flavor was on this one. I, uh, I knew this one. I was going to guess that one. I don't know what this flavor is. What is it? Honey. 
Read it. Um, hot honey. There is. Hot honey. Very wow. mild spice at the back end of this. You get like just tickling the back of your tongue, it, but it's really sweet on the beginning. Yeah. Oh, is that a wax? All right, let me see what they say about this one, sir. Actually, that one's pretty good. Um, it says, if you've never drizzled hot honey onto your ice cream, raise your hand. No, really? It's a combination you might not think of until you try it and then think, how have I never tried this before? It's like that. So we've made things easy for you. No honey jar required. I just washed my hand. You know what's supposed to go really good together? People love. No. Hot honey. It's just cross-contaminated. And pizza. And pizza. The hot honey, this is fantastic. You really can taste the like creamy, sweet vanilla flavor of the ice cream. And then you get those crunchy bits. Oh, That's, that is so good. This is good ice cream. I don't remember how much these were. I think these were around $4 a container. Put it up, Lou. But they're good. All the way done. Super sweet, super rich, super creamy. And then after you swallow it. And then you go, then you go mm. what yeah. is that? Yeah, just a hint of heat. Not even not even registering on a spice mm -hmm. scale, but holy, holy cow, that's a really good flavor. I like that one. I love so it. So out of all of those, that's definitely my favorite. A big thumbs up for me on that one. I will thumbs up all three. I would eat all three. My thumbs down. Down, mom. down. <laughs> so does I, that count for real ice cream, Ed? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, why would you not say yes cause, or no? Boo. That's true. Boo. Boo. Jamie was not a fan. And like John said, John, Jamie is a vanilla ice cream fan. If he, he doesn't wants, even like candy toppings. I was going to say, if he wants to live it up, he might do cookies and cream. Yeah. Might. Right? Sometimes chocolate syrup. And? Whipped cream. And? Sprinkles. sprinkles. And? I don't know what the <laughs> next and would be. And? <laughs> no end. All right, that's the review, guys. Again, found at Walmart. Maybe hard to find. I'll put the link that they sent me to find them at Walmart. It was really weird. I couldn't find it on the Walmart website until the company sent me the link to it on the Walmart website, which was super weird. It actually gets kind of hot after. A few which weeks. is weird eating yeah. ice cream. Did right? you not try? Did you not get that the first couple bites you took? No, she took tiny bites. Because you're nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it totally like creeps up on you. Huh? They have a lot of really good sounding ice creams also. Nice. You they can, have regular ones? They do. Okay. These are the, there was one other weird limited edition. It was called Planet Earth and it had like spirulina and matcha. Ew. Which sounds pretty weird to me, yeah, but we'll the rest of their flavors look fantastic. Well, there you go. Well done on this ice cream. Yeah. yeah I love it. Yeah. All right. What um, you tell them, Jamie. You should like us to connect with your friends. You can find Big John TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm going to take all these right now, and I'm going to film them one at a time for TikTok. So. And then you should mix them all together. Maybe not. not. That'd be nasty. Yeah, and I was with you right up until then. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.